everyone if you're new to the channel you can subscribe to the channel for future updates and guys please visit my website guys you can check the link in the description below and of course i have launched the new instagram account and make sure you follow for more future updates enjoy the solutions hello everyone welcome to this momko gaku show uh Kosen, mathematics part 3 and 2016 and yeah that's good let's look at the question there total three question of integration all right we have to calculate number one the integral with the limit from 0 to pi over 4 of cosine square x dx okay now to calculate this we could actually change cosine square x to half 1 plus cosine 2x if the question is in sine square x we could actually change this into half 1 minus cosine square x the reason is you know with this it is much more similar to calculate the trigonometric integral here okay so we change that into half 1 plus cosine 2x dx all right and now in a constant you could just move it to the front and you left it this okay the integral of 1 is x, right? Because in the variable dx, you make this x. And the integral of uh, cosine 2x, it will be half x. The integral of cosine is sine. And there's here that uh, 2x. So it will be half sine 2x. The limit of pi over 4 and 0, right? And... You might wonder why this is a half sine 2x remember that if you have cosine fx and you integrate it this will be 1 over the differentiation of 2x sine fx okay now for the this kind of integral you substitute that one by one so that would be pi over 4 plus half sine 2 times pi over 4 minus 0 plus 0 so that is 1 over 4 pi over 4 plus uh, half okay it will be pi over 8 plus 1 over 4 that is pi plus 2 over 8 so that is for number 1 and now for number 2 the integration of cosine to the power of 3x with the limit of pi over 4 uh, to the limit of 0 to do this you can actually uh, separate that into cosine x and cosine squared x now we not actually change that into this form but which we change cosine squared x into 1 minus sine squared x dx okay and now we multiply that pi over 4 cosine x minus cosine sine squared x dx okay and then you integrate it one by one so we first calculate what is the integral of cos x dx this is equal to sine x and what is the integral of cosine sine squared x dx? This we can use the concept of substitution. We make that u equals sine x. And we differentiate it. This is become cos x, right? So we could change cosine x times u squared, right? dx we change into du over cos x du over cos x so that we can cancel it out so integral of u squared du is equal to one third u to the power of three okay and then u is sine x one third sine x to the power of three that is one third sine x to the power of three three okay so now we got the result of this integration and we got the result of this integration we could just uh, combine that so sine x 
plus one third sine to the power of three x mean the limit of pi over four to zero. So sine pi over four plus one third uh, sine to the power of three pi over four. And if you want to put zero, all of that is zero. Okay, so it doesn't matter. We just calculate this. Remember that sine pi over four is root two over two, and this is just you know this one just the power of three is root two over two plus this uh, when we multi when we make to the power of three that will become root two root two or three to the power of eight this root two over two plus uh, root two over twelve okay guess that the right answer yeah and then this will be equal to 7 root 2 over 12 oh I think that is in, in minus so we subtract that subtract okay then this is 5 okay so 5 root 2 over 12 Okay, so now number three, the last number here. The integration from the limit of pi over 4 to minus pi over 4 sine x plus 2 cosine x to the power of 3. Now, this is quite unique because, you know, we could actually calculate this. We could actually open the expansion here. So, sine x plus 2 cosine x to the power of 3. The quickest way to do it is use the constant in the Pascal triangle in the third line here. So this is as a constant, so 1 sine to the power of 3x plus 3 sine squared x times 2 cosine x plus 3 sine x plus it multiplied by 4 cosine squared x plus 8 cosine to the power of 3x. Okay, so this sine to the power of 3x plus 6 sine squared x cosine x plus 12 sine x cosine squared x plus 8 cosine to the power of 3x. Okay, because it's an addition in integration, you can actually separate that so that, you know, you calculate it one by one. Okay, so the integration of sine to the power of 3x. So how do we do this? We just separate that into 2 sine x and sine squared x is equal to sine x 1 minus cosine squared x okay sine x minus sine x cosine squared x dx okay the integration of this we could you know calculate it one by one again integral of sine x is minus cosine x Integral of sine x cosine squared x, we could make that u equal cos x, du over dx is minus sine x, so dx equals du over minus sine x, then sin, sine x u squared du over minus sine x, that is minus u squared du, and then minus one third times u to the power of 3, and because u is cosine x, so that would be minus one third times cos to the power of three x. Okay, so the answer for the integration of this, this one, is minus cos x plus one third cos to the power three x. Now we integrate this integral of six sine squared x. Uh, cosine x dx this is equal to 6 times the integral of sine squared x cosine x dx now we actually have calculate this right in the previous number we use that to calculate this and for did uh, for this we got the result of this okay right so we could actually directly get the answer so I think that maybe, you know, it is 
directly related and i mean i think that is the reason why they put that question number two that way that's the answer right no need for further further calculation and now for this one 12 sine x cos squared x now we have calculated this right this one we have calculated this sine x cos sine squared x which is this one so 12 times minus one third cosine to the power of 3x that is minus 4 cosine 3x right and then the final thing is 8 cosine to the power of 3 and I think we have already calculated date too that to uh, number 2 right that is the question so before the limit we get this right cosine to the power of 3 and then we get this we get this we get this and then we uh, combine that to become this one okay this is before we apply the limit so that is 8 times sine x minus 1 third sine to the power of 3x okay well we could actually open that 8 sine x minus 8 over 3 sine to the power of 3x now we just combine this answer and we apply the limit from pi over 4 to minus pi over 4 so that is minus cosine x plus 1 third cosine to the power of 3x then plus 2 sine to the power of 3x and then minus 4 cosine to the power of 3x plus 8 sine x minus 8 over 3 sine to the power of 3x okay the limit of pi over 4 minus pi over 4 and now we actually uh, can subtract some of this we make it tidy we arrange that x sine x minus cosine x and then we could combine this right 2 minus 8 over 3 is uh, 6 over 3 so minus 2 over 3 and we can combine this minus 11 over 3 cosine to the power of 3x pi over 4 minus pi over 4 okay so uh, sine pi over 4 is root 2 over 2 sine minus pi over 4 is minus root 2 over 2 cosine pi over 4 is root 2 over 2 but if we make this way this will become uh, 2 root 2 over 8 which is root 2 over 4 right and then this one cosine of 3 is actually root 2 over 4 right okay now we can directly substitute that first we substitute in pi over 4 so that is 8 times root 2 over 2 minus root 2 over 2 minus 2 over 3 uh, sine to the power of 3 is the same root 2 over 4 minus 11 over 3 root 2 over 4 and we minus 8 times minus root 2 over 2 minus uh, root 2 over 2 minus 2 over 3 minus root 2 over 4 minus 11 over 3 cosine to the power of 3 root 2 over 4 okay so we got 4 root 2 minus root 2 over 2 we combine all of this minus root 2 over 6 minus 11 root 2 over, uh, over 12 plus 4 root 2 plus root 2 over 2 plus sorry minus root 2 over 6 and then plus 
11 root 2 over 12. We could cancel this, minus and plus. We could uh, cancel this, minus and plus. And that is 8 root 2 minus root 2 over 3. So that is 24 root 2 over 3 minus root 2 over 3. That is 23 root 2 over 3. Oh, genius. All right. So that is the answer for number 3. And yeah, so that is the series of Cosan Mathematics. And this is part 3. And yeah, stay tuned for the next video solution. Thank you for watching. <laughs>